Come here. Oh! Imagine that Titanfall 2 and Ultra Kill married and had a baby, but that baby turned out to be a furry, so they abandoned the baby into the foster care of Pyro from Changed if Pyro was a protégé and made guns. I remember when I made a cannon out of a trash bin, and then had to get trapper removed from my body. It was not fun. Welcome to Merc Fleet, a game so vertical and so fast that aim assist becomes a mechanic in the game. Your job? It's simple. Kill everything that moves, because everything that moves kills. And that's the game. Move, kill, die, repeat. It's a simple concept, but with the speed of the game, everything happens fast. You move fast, you kill fast, and you die. Very, very fast. Your movement options are simple, and a bit Titanfall 2 inspired. You got a run, a slide, a jump, and a wall run that absolutely no one uses. Movement is everything in this game. It dictates how you fight, how you flee, how you approach your engagements, and most importantly, how you die. Here's a quick tutorial on how it works. If you stand still, you die. If you run in a straight line, you die. If you run away from a fight, you see what I'm trying to say here? My point is, the more predictable your movements, the faster you die. Remember, this is an arsenal. Movement on the Y axis is just as important, if not more so, than horizontal movement. Guys, look! A birdie! <gasps> It's pretty! Let's catch it! You can also use movement tech, and you start off with three. Dominion, Unextricator, and Meteor. The Meteor is a ground slam type attack that deals damage if an enemy is close enough, but it can also be used as semi-dash to get in or out of fights. The Unextricator is probably the weirdest movement option. It gives you a triple jump, but also gives you the ability to... It's rewind time! You still maintain your previous momentum when you unextricate though, so you sometimes end up just bouncing back and forth. And the Dominion? Grappled man, grappled man, does whatever a grapple can. Can he swing? Oh, no he couldn't. In this game, there's only one rule. If you're going to start a fight, you better be ready to finish it. Remember my previous comparison to Ultra Kill? Your health bar can only replenish in two ways. By either parking your ass in a corner waiting for the bar to tick up one point at a time, or by perpetrating ultraviolence. With each elimination, you regain parts of your health bar back. This health on kill mechanic encourages aggression, but not recklessness, and rewards you for going out there and shredding some poor child with a shotgun. Speaking of Ultra Kill, let me direct your attention to the reticle in the middle of your screen. Again, much like Ultra Kill, everything you need to know is right here. Health, ammo, reload time, and aim assist size. With all the vital information being at the center of the screen, it means that you can maintain all your attention where it's needed most. At the center of the screen. This game has no hand holding. Much like how its parents threw it into the wild, Mercfleet just throws you into the world with nothing but two guns, some firecrackers, and a dream. And you will die. Many, 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 many. Do I have this thing on repeat? Wait, repeat. Nice segue, Sam. Thanks, Sam. With the amount of moving, killing, and dying that happens in this game, there's no shame in being unable to wrap your head around everything. Hell, my first session playing this game I could barely get out of my spawn point without getting annihilated. And with the massive selection of guns, you may think that your enemies are better than you because they have better guns. As you play the game, you find out a secret. The guns don't matter. Don't worry, because as you come to this crippling realization, you try to get better. Or just quit the game. Now how do I end this video? Huh? Oh, okay, that's cool.